Um, my name is uh, Alexander Kuriakos, and uh, my husband Tom and I have three children, uh, aged uh, 11, 8, and 8. And uh, we live in uh, Scarborough, Ontario. And uh, we uh, think quite often about our kids' education and uh, how we're going to get them through uh, elementary and high school and uh, prepare them for university. Uh, education is, uh, is very important to uh, uh, both my husband and I. Uh, I have a, a graduate degree, my husband has a, a two professional degrees, and uh, we believe that uh, um, access to a, a broad uh, post-secondary education uh, will, um, will allow our children to have a, more opportunities in terms of their uh, um, professional work lives and in terms of their personal growth. Uh, we hope that all three of them will want to go to university and uh, we, uh, uh, we hope that they will want to do as much. Uh, um, we hope that if they show an interest in, in a specific area that they'll want to do um, some graduate work or go to professional school. Um, well, these are our perceptions because, as my husband and I talked about this, we haven't set foot in, I haven't set foot in university in over 20 years and uh, uh, it's been a long time for my husband also, but uh, I think that um, it's certainly become more cost prohibitive, it has become much more expensive. I think uh, we graduated with uh, very low debt levels and I think your average student today, and certainly by the time our children will get to university, you will probably have uh, students graduating with debt levels in the six figures. Uh, so I think that's a, a drastic change from what our generation experienced. Um, um, I think there's a lot of programs are probably, I think universities are much more competitive probably than they were in our day also. I think a lot of very specific technical programs are much more competitive. Uh, the population has grown in Ontario so um, there are, the, the number of spots haven't increased, but I think the number of children, the number of students have increased, so I think our children will be faced with much more competition than we were, um, you know, 20, 25 years ago. So I think that's going to be, they're going to be entering a different, uh, a different uh, playing field when they get there. Um, I think the other thing that will have changed, uh, even though I think we experienced it somewhat when you were going to university, there will be a greater need for differentiation and more degrees. I don't think one degree will suffice for them, uh, particularly if it is a degree if it is a degree in the liberal arts, uh, which is very valuable, and we are concerned with uh, ensuring that uh, they have the option to do a liberal arts degree. But uh, it it looks like it will be increasingly important. Uh, for them to probably get a couple of degrees, if not more. Uh, again, because the level of competition has increased, I think both within Canada and I think at a, a more international level, uh, as the economy changes, they're going to be uh, uh, competing against uh, children not only uh, in, in, in Canada, but I think they're going to be competing for jobs at a different level than, say, we were um, 20, 25 years ago. We expect a lot, <laughs> to be quite frank. Uh, we expect a lot from post-secondary education, but I think realistically what we expect is that when our children get there, we will have the option of sending them to a university where they will be provided with uh, um, the most up-to-date resources and they will be provided uh, with, um, uh, the universities will pro provide them with thoughtful ways of teaching their curriculum. Um, in terms of um, sustaining their interest and developing uh, their intellectual pursuits. 
Um, so um, those are two, two of our main uh, goals for our children. And uh, um, we hope that they will be able to develop their critical thinking skills. Uh, certainly we're concerned about that at this age, but we're going to be concerned uh, that they, you know, at university, they're able to uh, develop their critical thinking skills and, and, and to use them, uh, that they continue to develop their literacy and numeracy skills. I think these things are given. Um, whether they pursue uh, technical programs or not, we also feel it's important that they be given exposure to a broad array of subject areas, uh, whether it be math and science and music and the arts. Um, and that their characters are, are um, that the university gives them opportunity to develop their characters. Um, I think there's been less emphasis on that uh, when we were when we were at university. And uh, I would hope that wherever they go, that universities um, look at developing the whole person as opposed to just uh, their uh, uh, intellectual. Um, uh, capacity, but they look at uh, um, developing character and, and students who persevere and work hard and are tolerant, uh, are open-minded, and uh, are, um, are developing into good citizens. I, I would hope that, you know, each, <laughs> we, we have three children, each of our children are different. We hope that uh, each of them are able to sort of uh, pursue their passion in a very uh, in an, an environment which is both intellectually and personally nurturing. Um, our universities are in Ontario are very large, and uh, I'm not sure we've done a very good job of, of providing students with with that kind of environment. And uh, I would hope that. Um, you know, university um, personnel and policymakers would look at ways in which they can uh, respond to um, uh, students' need to grow both intellectually and personally and socially within a within an environment that is more nurturing. I think than than the big university model that we've had so far has been able to 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 uh, to deliver.